friends welcome 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 i had to turn on the microphone real quick but welcome it is friday night so glad that you are here with us and uh, we're going to be painting a really cool scene so i've got peter here with me and uh, that means that you can ask your questions and i'll be able to hear from mm -hmm. peter of course like normal but i wanted to say this one thing because i've had a few people texting me at my old number but you probably saved my number and then you just texted jed so I wanted to show you this real quick because um, just in case you, you uh, let me see how I can do this. It's gonna show up a little bit funky here, okay? I'm sorry about that. But basically, if you text the word win to my new number, um, here we go, um, you're going to be um, able to see my, you know, you're going to be able to get in on this, this painting from tonight because that is, that is what we're uh, going to be giving away. So mm -hmm. this is a cool scene. I want to also real quick show you the scene because it is actually going to be a really cool scene. Um, and that's what we're going to be looking at. So I'm excited. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. it's going to be a fun night. And, um, here we go. Got the 12 by 16 canvas. It's painted black uh, so we can go from black to light colors. I've got titanium white, cadmium yellow light, cadmium orange, quinacridone red. This is ultramarine blue. This is black. This is a neutral gray. So as I get in, I'd love to hear where you're coming in from and uh, to see kind of how your week was. Yeah, My we week... got. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, you first. go, 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 go for it, bro. No. <laughs> um, we always talk over each other, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's all awkward and stuff. Anyway. Um, oh, dear. So we got Louise Powers from Ontario. Um, we got Adrian. Adrienne, I'm not exactly sure how you say that, from Edmonton, Alberta. Um, Sweet. Susan from St. Augustine, Florida. Um, oh, Diana nice. Greenman says hello from a snowy Montana night. You know, funny thing. Oh, uh, my goodness. I know. And, Doug, if you're out there, it snowed in Chihuahua today, too. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, so everything's you know, getting colder, guys. Yeah, for sure. Um. We got Joan from Rochester, Washington. Jill from Pennsylvania. Um, Lisa C. from Oklahoma. Pam from wow. Gresham, Oregon. John L. and her mom are watching from Marysville. Awesome. Um, Beth from Michigan. Ted Van Dyken from Renton. Jody Riverstone from Port Angeles. Ann Wright from California. Nice. Got a full house tonight. Oh, did you send out a text? I did. Okay, sweet. I did. Sweet. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Yeah, Peter texted me like or called me about 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago. He's like, "Are we doing Friday night live still, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, we, we just we've been doing so many things this week that we we yeah. haven't really like touched base on on Friday night live until just a little bit ago." I know, kind we of We talked going. about it earlier in the week, but it'd been a little while, so. Yeah. So, this is uh from the Washington coast and I uh would love to visit this exact place. I was planning, on, I was gonna try to go out here um, a couple weeks ago, and um, but the weather looked really iffy, like not nice at all. Oh, and so yeah. I, I actually <laughs> canceled that. Do you remember that? Yeah, oh yeah, because I, I ended up going to Whidbey Island. And you know what was kind of cool was the weather ended up being kind of okay for us mm -hmm. over on Whidbey, but um, this, is like I don't know this this place just looks awesome. So um, I I start with black for a couple reasons. One, it's it's easier for me than uh, painting on white. Uh, so there is a little bit of of that going on. Um, mm -hmm. And I like painting on black because I can see the values easier and I, I can um, work from the dark to the light. And it's also symbolic of how I feel like God brought light into my life when there was uh, no hope, it didn't seem like, in my life, struggling with addiction and all, all sorts of problems. And, and he really uh, did this kind of process in me, I feel like, and is doing <laughs> this process in me. But uh, yeah. um, that's, that's why I like to paint on black. But the thing that's going to happen in this painting here is like this rock looks really dark. I mean, it, it in does. the picture, it looks like almost black. And so what we're gonna wanna do, if you're out there painting with me, um, we're gonna wanna bring some color into that because it's if we were there in person, the limitations of the camera are not the, what we have with our eyes. We would see more color in that. And so um, the camera just loses that uh, to some degree, and and so we have to kind of do our part here. But that's why we're I'm I'm going to be changing what it looks like a little bit. You know, you'll you'll see as we go that there's going to be more color in my picture than what you'll see in the actual photograph. But tell me, is there anybody who is looking forward to? something this weekend like how was your week I don't know I don't know how you guys are doing my week was pretty good it's been busy there have been a few <laughs> late nights Peter's had a few a late few. nights <laughs> yeah oh, man. Uh. but it's it's been good at the same time now this is the thing that i realized i need to not do what i was this is what happened to me last week as i started off using the small a smaller brush and i think it just was like all of a sudden i was like <laughs> yeah. two hours into the the, the 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 that's an exaggeration it wasn't that long but i need to let let's get the little bigger brush out right now and and uh start working that way um uh, Willard and Edie are here. Oh, hey, Papa okay. Bear, Mama Bear. Yep. That's um, my father-in-law and mother-in-law from Edmonton, Alberta. There's some other people from Edmonton watching you guys. I'll have to bring in Willow for you in a little while. Somebody what? asks, do you ever lighten the image in, or Joan asks, do you ever lighten the image in Photoshop so you can see what's in the rocks? You know, that's a good idea. Sometimes I, I, I do do that, but you know, uh, I just kind of forgot on this one. And so I, I'm just going, going with it. And to me, there's, there's not a lot of detail in there. Like I can pretty much make up what, what I think because I'm going to make up some stuff anyways. Like I'm going to put like these trees that are up here. I, I'm going to eventually carve out some trees and uh, do a little bit of stuff and probably change it a, a bit because I want to add maybe a little bit more on the trees there. Um, 
because they're kind of like to me they're they're the thing that's so cool is like it actually gives that rock um dimension like it it shows perspective how big the rock is otherwise um i can't there's nothing else really to reference uh, on mm -hmm. there but these these trees are kind of like oh my goodness there's actually like big you know fir trees growing on top of these rocks and so that's really cool but other than that down there i mean maybe if i lightened it in photoshop i would see more details um but in general i feel like I don't think there's any other trees down there or anything like that. So mm. it's kind of just uh, easy to make it up. It's just more, to me, it's like ge geometric shapes, kind of like thinking about what would make, what would make the, the shape of the rock kind of interesting or that kind of thing. Um, Doug Greenman asked... Peter, are you in Chewila right now? If so, please bow down and kiss the homeland for me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, no, I'm not in Chewila right now. And honestly, I don't want to be <laughs> because it's because buried in snow. snow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So how yeah, much snow do you have in Montana right now? And how yeah. much snow in, in Chewila? Because it's come, it's come fast this year, hasn't it? I know. It? Like the snow I swear, is... yeah. Um, there's like three or four inches in Chuila. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, Dennis Redmond says, my wife and I have been battling chest colds all week. COVID negative. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Man, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad that uh, you're not yeah. uh, suffering with COVID or anything, but it still doesn't make chest colds are always a bummer anyway, so it's no fun. Um, Julie Celeste asks, do you hang any of your own paintings on your walls? Yeah, actually I do. Um, we've got a couple paintings in there right now that I have given to Renee. Well, I'd say more than, more than two, but two big ones that I've given to Renee, um, for different reasons. And then, um, we've got a couple smaller ones too. And Willow, I've given a couple paintings to Willow, so she's got a couple in her room. And um, and then I've got a couple prints. Like I had early on in my um, painting, I, I had made a couple prints of, of a few different paintings, and mm. I have one of those hanging also. Nice. Yeah. But not, I, some artists keep a lot of work. I don't have that much. I prefer selling to <laughs> keeping. Yeah. But it's always just been a practical. Hey, look at that. I better turn my ringer off. Did my yeah. phone ring last week? Was that or just a dream? I feel like. Must uh, have been a dream. <laughs> I mean, there was one Friday night where you left it on and you were getting texts back from people. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, I know that when I used to get the, it would be like buzzing in my pocket all the time because I, <laughs> yeah, we'd put the thing out there. Oh yeah, man, I should show that again at some point just to make sure people. Hey, look at that! Show, I show the number. We have just a skip of snow in, in Sherwood Park. Oh, look at that. Hey, I can see the comments sometimes if I look. Happy nice. birthday, Elizabeth. Oh, wow. Is that Elizabeth who? Somebody had a birthday, it looks like. Elizabeth Derrick. Celebrating my oh. 52nd birthday on Sunday. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. Happy birthday. Um... Evan Cole says, with this painting, are you worried about the rock being too centered on the canvas? Oh, probably. I probably should be. <laughs> um, you know, and that's a good point, actually. In the, in the um, what I'm going to do is I was kind of worried about this one being over too close to the edge. I didn't want it to be over too close to the edge. But one thing that I think that I did was I made it a little bit bigger than it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Um and I'm going to, like, what I like kind of about painting this this way is that I can kind of shape and reshape things. And, mm -hmm. um, and then 
um, adjust it with the background. So mm. like, because it hasn't been defined really yet. And until I put in the sky, it won't be defined as much. But then once that sky goes in, it's gonna, it's gonna show, okay, that's where the edge of that is and all that, right? So I still have a little time to make that adjustment. And I'm, I'm doing it actually just because you brought it up. Um, and I, I see that it could be over a smidge more to the left and it would probably, and then I'll try to cut it back um, just a little bit more on the other side. So we'll kind of pay attention to that and see, see what happens, see how it looks. And if there's more adjustments that need to be made, we can always come back to it. But a lot of this is, I'm kind of just, you can see I'm dipping into different colors and, and I'm just trying to get variety into these rocks and the, now I'm getting into the reflection a little bit because this is, I don't want this reflection to be pure black either, even though it's very dark. But there's so many cool things in a little scene like this. You know, we've got little rocks in here, but the temptation sometimes would be to sit and to paint every rock, you know, very carefully and mm -hmm. We, you might end up getting lost in, in the details. And for me, the good thing about painting on a Friday night like this, as long as I remember to use my bigger brush, <laughs> I don't usually have enough time to get into all the details. And it kind of helps me um, paint a little bit more loosely and more gestural brush strokes and uh, so if that's like a style that you like, then uh, it can be, I'm, I'm forced kind of to do it on Friday nights because I don't want to spend, you know, three hours on here. You guys don't want me to spend three hours on here, but hmm. you can do it. You can force that on yourself, even in, in, in your studio when you're working by yourself. Um, all you need to do is just set a timer and and say I'm gonna try to finish this in however long you say an hour an hour and a half and uh, when when I was doing the plein air competition a week ago or so I don't remember if I said this last week but there was a couple artists that I overheard at different points say that they had done the same thing that I had done and that was they arbitrarily set timers in their mm -hmm. studio so that they wouldn't feel like they could take forever. Um, nice. Yeah. Jed's a trendsetter, cool. guys. <laughs> well, I wasn't. I, I didn't. Uh, they did it on their own. But I just thought it was kind of cool that there were more, more people, like quite a few people that did uh -huh. that. Because we didn't have any of the normal, um, you know, boundaries. I guess you could say. Um, uh, Jennifer Martin asks, so did you watch the Karate Kid last week? And if so, how was it? Oh, we did. We did watch the Karate Kid. Oh uh, man, that was so fun too. It, the funny thing is that it was like, I, I kind of said this, like mm -hmm. how Willow did not, she didn't want to watch it. She didn't want to watch it, you know, like the whole time. Of course. And, and we're actually watching it and she's still kind of like, oh, this is boring. And I mean, the truth is that it's slower than movies are today, right? I mean, it's not a new movie that's got all the really quick scene cuts and all that kind of stuff. So I understand where she can get a little bit of the, this is a boring feeling, <laughs> but mm -hmm. It was kind of funny too, because, you know, as it goes and she does start getting more into the story, um, she, she really starts, you know, like getting into it. And, and at the end, all she could do was, I mean, she turned into, what's his name in the movie? I don't, I don't remember his name in the movie, but she was him. 
and she was just like racing around the room and kicking and you know <laughs> doing all the all the moves that she could you know come up with that were oh yeah somewhat karate <laughs> so, oh yeah that's how For i sure. know that's how i always know if a movie actually you know like even though i pulled my my um shut off the movie I, I know i wasn't supposed to but i shut off the movie again and i was like uh well we don't have to watch this and but i did it a little bit prematurely because she she wasn't like super at that point she was still kind of in her negative mind even though i didn't think she was mm -hmm. so anyways yeah but that was fun had a good time and we had i guess there were well, there were people that said, hey, make sure you uh, keep, <laughs> yeah. keep the list, right? Yeah, so, that was fun talking about movies and stuff, guys, last week. That was fun. That was cool. We um, had one person who didn't like it, though, because they were hoping that I'd be able to do more instruction on here. And they oh, were yeah. a little bit gypped by that. But that's the way this is, guys. I do apologize if you were coming hoping that I would be instructing. Your best chance is to ask a specific question, and I will an I'll do my best to answer it. But this is not primarily an instruction time. This is more of a hangout time. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, Catherine Hawking asks, when Jed, his dad, and his brother got together last week, did they all basically paint a picture of the same thing? Um... You know, we were in the same area um, the first day, and uh, but we painted different views of the same thing. Um, we were at a marina, and we we uh, painted boats. Basically, all of us painted a boat or a scene with boats in it. Um, but yeah, like I said, we were all kind of facing different directions or, or looking at different things. So our paintings were, in fact, we weren't even next to each other. We were like, my dad was up, I was down on a lower dock. My brother was up on another dock. But the problem that I had was that I didn't realize how shaky the dock that I was on because I went down to this lower dock and it wasn't a big deal, it didn't, didn't hurt me that bad but i i mm -hmm. didn't realize that it would shake like it did like mm -hmm. it was rocking kind of in the waves quite a bit so spooky add a little bit of fun to my time yeah it wasn't scary it was just more like i'd be like putting a brush stroke down and then it would kind of go like <laughs> move <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah um Candace says, hi, Candy from Ocean Shore. Sorry I'm late. No problem. Oh, We're no glad problem. you're here now. No. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Oh, uh, yeah, guys. I'm getting all your texts. Our new community won't do an autoresponder, I don't think. I don't think it does. Um, but we're um, getting your maybe texts. We could, we could maybe, we, we might be able to set it up, but I don't, I don't, yeah, they, they go in and I put it into the, I don't know if you saw the keyword. Yeah, I, I did. In there. So that's good. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. What's what's fun about this scene to me there I mean there's a lot of fun things but yeah, I mean like even though this has got quite a bit of color in it, it's still so dark compared to the background, right? And so it's it's um it's gonna be easy to make that, you know, stand out a lot. That mm. that's the thing about this picture that's so great is it got so much contrast to it. Mm -hmm. Ralph Macchio, yes. You know what? This is what I. Okay, this was crazy. So I just realized, like, who was the lady? The the girl in the Karate Kid was. Um, Elizabeth Shue, right? I'm pretty sure that that was who it was. That and was not good. in the movie, in the movie, um, she looks like she's like 20. He looks like he's like 
14. I mean, <laughs> I know. He looks like a little kid, man, right? I like, know. I mean, it, it's it's a little bit like, oh, this is weird. Like, like <laughs> why is she like in love with this, you know, little kid, right? You kind of think that. Yeah. But um I so then I'm like, I wanted to figure out like how old they were when they filmed it. Uh. And I looked it up and he was according to everything that I saw, he was like 22 when he filmed. Wow. It. I know. <laughs> I, I I could not believe wow. it. I'm just thinking <laughs> seriously he was Ugh. older than her and that's what where, like really threw me off because she was she was i think in fact i might be wrong on the ages but he was two years older than her mm -hmm. and anyways just like really that's threw crazy me off. yeah because you know how young he looks he looks like a kid i know he's a baby man. face yeah I wonder what, what it's like for a guy like that, you know, who was such a, I mean, I, that's just an iconic character in a movie. I know. And I don't know if he's ever been in, I've never seen him in anything else, you know, maybe he was back then, but, you know, you got to wonder like what it's like to be that kind of person, mm -hmm. um, you know, where you, you have such incredible fame, you know, to mm -hmm. some degree. And then, but then, like, what what would it be like? Like, I don't know. Like, mm -hmm. just. Because <laughs> I'm thinking of, like, Macaulay Culkin, right? Like, I mean, I know it's oh, a yeah. situation and all that. But, you know, it kind of messed with him, right? It's like, mm -hmm. he got it kind of all messed up. Oh, yeah, I did. For real. For real, for real. Ralph Macchio is 58 years old now. Dang. Yeah. Are you looking it up? <laughs> no, uh, Susan said in chat. That? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, got you. I heard that Cobra Kai is actually a pretty good show. Yeah, I, I heard about that too. Oh, Cobra Kai. That's funny. Okay, I see a question there. Do, do your family members all critique each other? You know, I will. <laughs> we will critique each other some. Um, and we'll kind of ask for critiques sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of times, like, you know, like my dad and like, for instance, last week when I was painting for uh, this last week, I was painting for this show that I've got coming up. In fact, it starts tomorrow. Um, and and he he saw he he came by um, once or twice and, and looked at different paintings um, as a, mm -hmm. as they're, you know, kind of getting ready to be finished off and stuff like that. And, and so that was, that was cool. Um, because he, he is, you know, when it, whenever he sees something, he's able to give thoughts and critique and mm -hmm. my, my mom will too. And my sister sometimes, but a lot of times like I'm painting and finishing paintings and nobody actually like sees it besides Renee until it's kind of more, yeah. more like it's done. Um, so it depends, like if we have the opportunity to see each other's work, mm -hmm. yes, we do. You know, my dad painted, when when we went over and we were painting on Whidbey Island last week, he actually met the the owner of the boat that he was painting. He The, the owner just happened to like nice. walk by and it was like this little kind of interesting boat. It, it not not a typical, boat i guess it's made for my dad would know he can't i can't remember it was like it's not from around here really it's more like kind of boat that you would see find like in the gulf states i think mm. and it's made for a certain kind of fishing usually and so anyways the, but this guy really liked it and was like basically told my dad right away he's like okay i'm gonna buy it when you get done, just let me know, you know, like that kind of mm -hmm. thing. And so, but then that actually kind of like puts more pressure on you because you're thinking, oh, well, man, like, I hope that he likes it when I get it done. You know, I, I want to make sure. But anyways, yeah. my dad did a great job with it. But we, you know, we were giving feedback back and forth a little bit when, because that was the first day that we went over and then we spent the night and, and mm -hmm. uh, he, he was working on it longer and 
So, and I was working on different stuff. And so, yeah, we were able to give some feedback when we were all together. But, and we're not, we don't have a common studio where mm. we all work all the time. Otherwise, I'm sure we would give feedback all the time. I see we'll have Mike's fob for our Q&A. That's very, very exciting. Oh, yes. goodness. It's <laughs> super exciting. It's so amazing. Yeah. So, you guys, I you probably have heard me talk about Mike before, especially if you're a member of the community. or um, he's, he's the first artist that I ever studied under. He's Canadian. He lives near Vancouver. And, and he's just a tremendous artist and a really great guy. And... So anyways, we got it all kind of confirmed. We'd, we'd scheduled it, but um, I finally was able to talk to him on the phone a couple days ago, and we, we got it locked in on the date and everything like that so that we could, we could just put the word out there. But we're going to have our Q&A with him. So I just encourage you, look at his work. Uh, look him up, Mike's Fob, that's S-V-O-B, and then think of any question that you can ask him. You know, he's a great artist, and like I said, a great, great teacher, um, just, just a, a really nice guy, and fun to talk with. I had a really nice chat with him, and so I'm really looking forward to bringing him in and letting you guys get to know him a little bit, too. Uh, so make sure that you, you know, if you are part of our community that you take advantage of that because it's going to be a worthwhile, very worthwhile time with them. And mm -hmm. uh, you'll know why I'm saying this afterwards because it'll, you'll, you'll enjoy it. I know. So that is happening Tuesday at 10 or at 930 inside of our Facebook community. You will find the live Q&A right there. So, yeah, that's fun. And what else, Peter? We've got your show. I mean, I say your show because you, <laughs> you work so much I like freaked that. out a little. I was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what did I do? I didn't mean your <laughs> show, but I mean, we've got the student member showcase and yeah 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 um and that's that's looking super cool like that's awesome i'm i'm really excited about that so that's coming very soon too and in fact mm -hmm. what is going to happen is um, we're going to have the we're not going to do the normal friday night live next week next nope. week we're going to do uh, um, at the exact same time, so it'll, everything will be the same, but we're going to have our, uh, what, what do you call it? A, um, award ceremony. So we are giving out 10 awards this year because, uh, and, and so we're going to give out those awards next, next, um, Friday right here live mm -hmm. so yeah and guys we fun. had over 150 submissions for this show like yeah. there was so many submissions and they're all amazing yeah good job everybody it was it was really yeah fun. it was awesome uh, in fact rick delante is the juror for the show and he's actually working on that you know kind of like right now as we speak um, but it, it was really fun to look through what everybody did and, and yeah, it's just, it's super, super, super great. Super proud of you all. Oh yeah. You guys are amazing. Super inspiring. And guess what guys, this is exciting too. Um, Diana Shine just showed up at our house. I can hear her outside in the main living area. Yeah, she is we're gonna coming to record this weekend. Isn't that exciting? 
Mm hmm. Because Peter didn't have enough to do. So <laughs> he wanted to. <laughs> he wanted to add something to the, his life. <laughs> no, but you know, like. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I've got my show going on. Peter was like, hey, do you think you could help with some of that? And I was like, man, I can't. <laughs> I've got my <laughs> show tomorrow all day. Like, I can't do anything with it. It's all on you. Not only will I not be able to do all of it, I won't be able to do anything to help, man. I'm sorry. Um, will you so. show them all next week or just the winners? Um, it, well, you, you you're know, gonna be able to see everyone's submissions publicly. But yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, on, we'll yeah, yeah, we'll have to figure out. I mean, we'll we'll share the link to the the overall show, so you can see you everything. Can see yeah. everything. Um, and then we don't actually know. I've never done this before, guys. Don't ask me such hard questions. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm making this up as we go. I mean, seriously. <laughs> this is next week we're talking about, right? I mean, if you're uh -huh. talking, asking me a question about what I'm doing tonight, maybe, maybe <laughs> I would have an answer. But this is next week, man. <laughs> this is not uh, right now. Sheesh. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, it's, it's really cool. It was really inspiring guys um yeah well we'll send the link to all the submissions so you can look at them all we it so much more than we had in the spring like it's crazy how much we've grown and the community has grown in like a few months yeah it's pretty awesome yeah really fun really really fun This is a pretty painting, man. I gotta say, I like this scene a lot. And you know, it's easy to paint something that is really pretty, right? It's like, mm -hmm. makes it so fun. Just like the other week when I was painting that, remember how excited I got when I was painting that? I know. Uh, <laughs> because it was just so beautiful, right? It's like, how can you not get excited when you're painting something that's, you know, fantastic like that? Like, mm -hmm. wow. I kind of like this, there's kind of a swoopiness to these clouds that come down and I, I like that because it kind of points back towards this, uh, you know, big rock and everything there. Mm-hmm. A big swoopiness, I like that word. Big swoopiness. <laughs> Yeah. This is such an interesting rock too. I mean, it's got quite a shape and I'm actually, I don't love, love, love the total shape of it. So I'm, I mean, I like it, but I'm wondering if I can make a change and make it just maybe not quite as pinnacle-y, I don't know. Like maybe just do something, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what to do here. I, I like it, I love it, but I don't love it at the same time. So I think there, maybe just that, maybe just cutting off that top just a little bit, it's gonna help make it not quite, not quite as, um, I don't know, just look like a cone or something. Mm -hmm. Keep accidentally cutting off my trees though. I guess I can always come back and add a little bit more if I cut it down too far.
So, Peter, does everyone know what you look like except me? I know your voice, but I'd love it if you could be or get in front of the camera for a sec tonight. <laughs> Who's I'm this? not actually there in person, but. Who said that? Um, Judy Weber. Oh. <laughs> uh, I should send her one of my vlogs or something. Oh, uh, maybe Peter stopped the music because he already had a. Uh, <laughs> because he already had a woman. So you're saying that you wish that the music was playing? Is that what you're you're saying? Like on the, on the stream? Is that what you're asking about? I mean, I know you're asking about <laughs> Peter, but. Is that Besides a side that. Comment. Yeah, side comment. Cause we actually could play music still. Um, no music yet. Yeah, we don't have music right now, but. Um. There are quite a lot of AU members. Any ideas how many? Uh, yeah, we do. I don't know. Like Is that something I should say, Jed, or not? Or, okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. It's okay. Like 350 yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Somewhere in there. A lot of people, guys. It's crazy. And the community is growing, too. Like, every time... <laughs> this goes back into, like, so much to do. But, I like, I get into the community sometimes just to look around what you guys are doing. And... I'm like, man, I could sit here and like talk with people in here for hours. <laughs> yeah. So cool. For sure. Um I assume he yeah. is young, I may be wrong. Yep. Only eighteen, I'm a spring chicken. Yeah, Peter's really young. He started working with us when he was 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, it's been awesome. Okay, well, kind of got the the trees in. Okay, so low. Oh man, I like this. Very fun. I actually just seen. I uh, feel like it looks a little different in the screen, but whatever. Okay, so now I need to get a little <laughs> bit more sand color here. I would like to put a face to his voice, no music. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so sometime, maybe I could like post a picture in the community or something. But all the um, like the vlogs on my channel are outdated as far as like what I look like. I look totally different. Um. Shoot, man. Okay, if you give me a second here, I'll I'll get a picture of Peter. <laughs> Just a second. Uh, oh no. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. No, I'm not gonna show that one, Peter. Of you <laughs> sleeping in the back of our car, but um, let's see. I could find something. Do you even have uh, recent pictures of me? Well, you've got to have something on Facebook, right? Like I don't know. Oh, I do. Yeah. I can send you one. Yeah, email me something, and then I'll just pull it up on my email. That'll be easy. Then I won't have to waste time looking around. <laughs> I, okay, guys. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Even I, Next <laughs> week, maybe I'll put a little picture of Peter over in the corner. Like It'll, it'll be over with, here on the screen. It'll be like Yeah, with right the here. speech bubble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the speech <laughs> bubble. There's Peter. <laughs> Uh, or or I could make the little chat thing a tiny bit smaller and put him in there or something. Who knows? But we'll get knows, him in there. Man. Yeah. Um let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Unless oh, you just yeah. like to imagine, you know, I mean, cuz he could look like he could look like anything. You uh -huh. don't even he could be like is he a young man or is he a really old man? I don't know. <laughs> How could you tell he was a young man? I'm 
The cameraman is just shy? Nah. Nah, me. I'm anything but shy. No, he's not. <laughs> that made it sound like I'm like, <laughs> I am. I'm just trying to cover for myself. <laughs> I know. I, I, <laughs> I'm not shy. But it, sound <laughs> like, it did kind of sound like that, yeah. What, no, what not me. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I, yeah. I do have, where, I wonder if I have those pictures, because I took a bunch. They're, they're old, but I, I did take a bunch of those ones. Oh, oh Jed, I, I have a good you, one. I have a good one. Yeah, do the. I sent two it, on Discord. Don't put it there. Don't. I can't. I can't get them because I. I'm gonna pull it up on my other computer. Oh, do you want me to email you? Yeah, email. Okay, okay. I'll do, I that. I'll do that. Yeah, got my laptop. That's what I was gonna. Jed Dorsey, pictures. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facebook 2019 cute. <laughs> that's boss. that's before I grew my beard. Uh, that's funny, man. Did, um, did you see that one? You're like the Charlie's Angels boss. Like I think it's the guy that you hear his voice, but you never see his <laughs> face ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, okay. I'm just, I'm just behind the scenes. Did you send it? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm a mysterious figure behind the scenes. Okay. Okay. I will switch it so you can see Mr. Peter here. Um Just a second. Here we go, guys. The face this reveal. This is Peter. And this is John L. Since he sent a picture of both of them. And then this is Peter when he was here with our little kitty, Silver. Yeah, I was still living there with you go. guys. Yep. Ah, oh, Silver's so, so small in that picture. I know. I know. Isn't that crazy? So... Now you know. That's what he looks like. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, wow. Look at that. All those chats went away. That's interesting. Rain says, having a hard few weeks, even though my toddler's climbing all over me as I type. Thank you for this mini break. Of course. Glad we could help. <laughs> <laughs> Jones says that's a beard question mark question mark <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you guys are too funny you guys are amazing yep Yeah, that was the big change that you made in your appearance, Peter, was you kind of, you grew a beard. Yeah. I can't remember when that was. It's like last October. I've been growing it for like almost a year now. Oh, really? Yeah. Um... Did you post the reference photo somewhere? I cannot make much out of it. Um, I, could I thought post... I did. I thought I. I thought I put it in the. The community. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, I thought you the... did too. Well, I did put it in the chat or the the email or the text that I sent, but I also put it in the the link below. I'm pretty sure. Um. Um. Like if you go underneath this video or in the description of it is it there it should be reference photo okay yeah, guys the second link in the description is the reference photo so yes good i'm happy to hear that i thought i did it but you never know. Sometimes 
I think I do things, and it turns out that I didn't. Yeah, we're really excited to be working with Diana, guys. We're going to get another awesome course in your hands. And she's been, um, I've been kind of working with her. She sends me them as she completes them and changes them and stuff. And holy cow, you guys are in for a treat. It's so good. It's always it's, so yeah. good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's really good stuff. Like, wow. Nothing but the best. And then me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nah, you can't shortchange yourself like that, Jed. None of us will have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, self-deprecating humor is the best kind of humor, in my opinion. It's true. It's Unless you do it too like, much, then it's like a pity party. Oh yeah, well that's not funny either. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be humorous for it to be mm -hmm. considered humor. Thank you, of course. For what? Um, Rain said thank you for the picture. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, we have a couple people painting with you tonight. Oh, nice. Good. I'm glad. I never know. Uh, well, sometimes I know people say they're painting. Um, yeah, but I usually we we try to put the the images below in the description so if you if you happen to look there and it's not there you know let us know mm -hmm. um and we'll we'll try to get you uh the the link to it right away but usually Absolutely. that's where we try to get it also guys um we're gonna start doing well i don't want to promise anything uh <laughs> but uh -oh. we have a live class we're going to do like Jed's going to uh, teach live publicly on November 7th. Um, so if you want to be a part of that, be sure to go to the homepage. We have a link there. Check it out. He's going to be doing a color mixing workshop um, and a painting live for the first time. So, and we're going to kind of see how it goes and hopefully do more of them in the future, but no promises. <laughs> yeah. Well, basically this is a, um, it's similar to some, I used to teach a class at our studio and it's very practical kind of hands-on color mixing because really what we're going to do is we're working from the same palette that I'm using, except we're actually not going to have orange. It's just going to be like those colors right here and not even the gray. So it's just going to be this and, um, and, and we're going to mix every, every color that we see you know, and, um, and we're going to create this painting together. And so it's, it's really fun. It's, it's laid back, but it's also informative. I'm going to give you like, instead of what we do on a night like this, where it's mm. maybe a tiny little bit of hints or, you know, like things that I talk about, you know, that are related to what I'm doing. We're mostly talking mm -hmm. about, we're just having fun. That's going to be a much more informative kind of instructional kind of, um, session so if that's what you're if what if that's what you're looking for uh, make sure that you do sign up for that we've got a early bird discount going on right now that ends i believe on sunday the 25th so go there right now it's, it's a really easy link too it's it's just acrylicuniversity.com and then forward slash class and that'll take you right there and it's yeah, I'm so I'm really excited. There's there's quite a few people that have signed up already. Uh, I know there's gonna be more that are coming in, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast. Like, mm -hmm. I'm I'm super looking forward to it. Me too. It's gonna be a lot of fun. That's on November seventh. We were gonna do it next Saturday, and then we were like, this is a classic case of biting off more than we can chew. Yeah, because we've, we should... yeah, we've got yeah. the yeah we've got the member show happening, and we were just thinking, ah, uh, this would not be the time to try to do it back to back. Let's let's put it off another week. Mm -hmm. 
Will Jed be able to see and critique people's work in the class? Um, don't think so for this first one, but we're we, going to be uh, looking into it. We have, yeah, the, the critique part of this is, is um, there's the opportunity to, um, like it's, if we were doing it live in person, there, there would be a little bit more, um, opportunity for that of course but it's it's going to be a limited amount of of uh time and it actually takes a long time to critique via digital yeah it means. does it's 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 quite a uh time consuming thing and so it's not um it's not really realistic to to do that inside of a online um, thing like we're gonna be doing. So um, we're looking at different options, but also that this is the truth in my life. I I honestly don't have time to to critique a lot of work. Um, I don't make my living from acrylic university, I make my living from painting and from being an artist. And, um, so that means that I have like a lot, a lot of commissions and, um, you know, I just painted for the show this week. And so as much as I would love to, you know, be totally, you know, giving every ounce of my energy to acrylic university and to, instruction and that mm -hmm. it's not a uh, realistic thing for me and so that's one of the things that that i'm i'm just kind of have to draw the line on and say you know i'm i will give you a hundred and ten i hate that i'll give you a hundred percent of me in the class you know like i i, I do my best in everything that i do i want to make everything that we do as absolutely incredible but the critiquing part of it is sometimes just beyond my yeah. um my capacity in terms of time i just yeah. don't have that so that's where you know becoming part of the community i i really want to you know um figure out more ways where we can get that to be part of part of a regular thing that happens but it's also like no matter what, that's why we have Diana, you know, when she does critiquing, it's, it's not a free thing because a critique is, is actually a, it's a time investment. Um, no matter who's doing it, no matter how it's, it's happening. It, it's actually, it takes time. It takes energy and it takes a lot of thought. You know, it's, it's, it's way, it's easy to give like a pat answer to something, but it's, it's, that's not what you're wanting, right? It's not, it's not, um, you know, what anybody It's that stuff isn't helpful, you know, in the end, what you actually want is somebody who can really look at what you're doing and say, here, here are the things that could be, you know, better and, and, and that kind of thing. So, you know, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, but multiply it by, uh, you know, a, a, a number of people and, and all of a sudden you've got, you know, a full day. And that's all you did was, you know, critiquing. So, uh, that's why it's, it's not, um, something that we offer inside mm -hmm. of that like that. Um, but I do know that it's a valuable thing. We, I totally get that. I, I, I hope that, um, you know, I, again, like if you, if you, we do have that offered with Diana. Um, yeah. And, you know, so it's just... Diana will critique your paintings. Yes. For sure. Will. Yep. And and she's actually going to do a better job than I will. I can just say that. I already know that. <laughs> there's, there's a, you know, we all have strengths and weaknesses, right? And I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm good at a lot of other things, but uh, critiquing paintings is, is, I mean, it, it's not that I'm just going to say I'm bad at it, but there are other people who are better than me. And Diane is one of them for sure.
Denver says Peter's there a way to watch us on uh, not on YouTube but on the Acrylic University website. Uh, no, not right now. We we tried that before, but it created problems with the chat and the view count, and so YouTube wasn't like showing us as many places and stuff like that. So for now, just uh, for now, just on YouTube. But like one day, big picture, we would like to be able to stream straight to our website. And we can always put it there. Um, the thing is that we had so many people who couldn't even get on the chat when it was mm -hmm. there. And it felt like everybody was coming over to YouTube anyways. But if you have a computer, if you're just using a computer, um, the problem seemed to be that if you were trying to use a, a device like a phone, that it was a lot harder to get on the chat like you just couldn't get on the chat at all. Mm -hmm. But the people who had computers, they, they actually could. Um, so, I don't know, I mean, if there was a bunch of people that were, I mean, if there was a handful of people, like, like Peter said, the thing that's weird about YouTube is YouTube like has these different algorithms and, and they, this is, this is, um, you know, I don't know. It, it's just that they, they, they change what they do depending on how you do stuff and they make it hard so that they don't want you to really like embed it on your stream or on your, yeah, on your page. On your That's website. why they don't make it, they don't make it work very well. So yeah. it's kind of like this game that you have to play, but, but YouTube also, does help you grow a lot. So exactly. like, that's, that's the flip side is like you, you know, you play in their world so that they'll, you know, you can hopefully be nice to you back. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot we think about so many things. It's, it's a very interesting, um, you know, Peter and I, we're, we're always like having a lot of fun talking and dreaming and like thinking about different stuff, but it's like, we'll, we're, we're, we're like, open to if you guys have ideas you know like please let us know because I, oh I, yeah if, every, if everybody said you know what i just i'd love to do it on i just want to go to a, acrylic university and watch it there i we'd make it happen it's just that you know we're you know it seems like most of the people that that night when we did it that way most of the people were like i can't chat and so we're yeah. like okay we're not going to do it that way. You know, that, that didn't work. Um, so we're always looking for the best solution, but, um, we're also yeah. very open to your guys's feedback and thoughts and stuff like that. Yeah. And so the chat, yeah, the chat's obviously a huge part of Friday nights. So we were like, yeah. well, yeah, that was, that was kind of a no brainer. Um, Mary D can somebody say hi if my comments are going through? Yes. I'll hey. say hi. Hey, Mary D. <laughs> Your comments are going through. We do see them. Yeah, sorry. It's it's hard. Like I think, um, you know, if if you post something and you don't get responded to, it's not because we're trying intentionally to ignore you. Although every once in a while, I do hear that there's somebody who gets on that we do try to intentionally ignore because they they say really rude things or you know <laughs> something like that. But in general. That's not our goal. Our goal is to, uh, you know, respond and to interact with everybody. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, Peter's doing multiple things. Like he might be getting the link for the picture, and all of a sudden you you said something, and maybe it got buried and didn't get seen. So, just shout it out again. Yeah, but cherish uh, how it is right now. It's nice. Feels like a community. Um, but you know, if when you get bigger and you have ton of people in your chat can be hard to keep up with it so yeah and we uh we you know it, it's not a um i think the thing that we are wanting to figure out too as we grow because you know we're in year two really of our of being around and uh we want to grow. We we want. I I believe that um, you know what we offer is is something really good and beneficial for people, and and we want to grow. 
And, and I know that, like Peter said, in some ways, for those of you who've been part of it from the beginning, mm-hmm. there'll be some growing pains, right? It'll be like, oh man, like remember when we used <laughs> to just, it was just us, like it was just the, the old crew, <laughs> you know, like we used to have those good times together. And, and there might be parts of that that it's like, okay, so it, it has changed. How do we keep and maintain that um, sense of community? You know, that community that we have, right? That sense of yeah. belonging and stuff. And so that's actually where you guys are the most important part of what we do. Like, in fact, I thought it was really cool when Dorina, uh, we, were, we were at... Uh, the light, we did a workshop a couple weeks ago and Joan was there and Darina and Kim and um, I'm blanking. There was somebody else there, um, I, I think, from our community. And um, But one thing that happened was Dorina, we were talking about Acrylic University a little bit and Dorina said, you know what? You know what the, you know, like she, she said, the best thing about acrylic university like yeah the lessons are awesome you know like that stuff's great but the best thing about acrylic university is the community Uh, it's just like this we feel like we belong to each other you know we're friends like that kind of thing and it really made me happy to hear that because like pretty early on we realized like you know it's I guess my story with art is is maybe part of part of why it matters so much to me is that I didn't think I could be a full time artist until I made friends who were artists. And I know that for a lot of us, it's it could be the same way. It's like it's a lonely thing unless you're doing it's so much more fun when you do it with friends. Right. It's, It's like. It's fun to go on this journey to an amazing place. Like the other week when I was going to go to the coast, like I wanted to come here. And you know what Renee told me? She's like, Jed, don't go alone. Like you'll, you won't enjoy it. And so that was when I ended up reaching out to my dad and talking to him and seeing if he wanted to come along with me. But it's the same thing with this journey of art, right? It's like we want to... Um, you know, to go on this journey with other people just makes it, makes it better, makes it more mm-hmm. fun. And so you guys are the most important part of anything that we do. We, we I, this, you've probably heard me say this too, but it wasn't even on my radar at first that that was like no. such an important thing. And it's only been over time. I, I feel like we've probably learned more than you guys in, about art and community and anything. Um, through this whole thing, then I, I know it's true. Then, then you guys have ever learned from from me or from us. So, yeah, I'm gonna see something here. Sometimes I like to mess with the camera. Oh, maybe I'll leave. Tracy it Gordon that. says I get so much out of the classes and sharing my painting on the AU website. I really like seeing everyone else work and supporting them. It's especially great during COVID. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, thank Absolutely. you for being here. Mm-hmm. Tracy. Tracy, you've been, you, you were, I, I remember seeing you um, come in and you were like, you probably still are, but I just remember early on seeing like you were just ripping through <laughs> lessons like yeah i know like every day you were posting something and i was like wow you are really going at it this is awesome because you know uh you know the reality is is that not everybody has the same amount of time or you know like place in life to invest a ton but if you do i mean you can you can get you can do a lot there's there's a lot to get into and um it's fun to see people, you know, do that and take big strides forward. So good job to you for mm-hmm. doing that. Okay, I'm gonna bring in this gray back down a little bit further. I become addicted to checking in on the Facebook community. <laughs> That's awesome, Ellen. Yeah, I mean, Ellen. Ellen. Me too. And like, 
I wish I had more time to check it. I should put aside more time to do it, but like, ugh, yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's, amazing. it's cool. Well, one thing that I like about uh, Facebook that's pretty cool is that now it, it always just comes up on my normal feed. Like yeah. there's always like acrylic university stuff that's, that's there. And so it, it's just like, even if I wasn't going on, you know, I might just be like, I don't know, just doing something random and I happen to open up Facebook and then all of a sudden there's stuff from the community right there in my feed. And, uh, so mm -hmm. it's always fun because then I'm like, Oh yeah, look at that. Look at what so-and-so did, you know? So very fun. I'm glad that it's addicting in a good way, right? And this is, here's a little Bob Ross quote. He said, he said, we're like the, we're like the, I, I think he, he said dope dealers, but I, I can't remember. He probably didn't. He probably said <laughs> something different. He probably said like, we're, we're like the, we're like the dealers that come into town. We bring in our, you know, we bring in our stuff. Cause I think, you know, he didn't make money really from PBS stuff. Like that was just what he did and like he would do one season in like two days right i mean it was mm -hmm. nuts but what how he made money really was he went around and he taught workshops all over and so that's i think what he's referring to when he says we we go around we go to these different places and we but he referred to him and his crew as like they were the kind of the the dealers who would come into town except instead of bringing anything harmful or bad, they'd be bringing like all this good stuff and creativity and you know hmm. stuff that's life giving. So I, I just thought that that was pretty cool. That um, is pretty cool. Pretty cool quote and stuff. Which also reminds me, I heard a really cool podcast the other day. Um, oh, I love podcasts. I don't, I don't remember the name of it, and I don't. My Renee shared it with me, so it's like something that she's connected to but um one of the the main things that it was talking about was creativity and how it's a battle like um that we're how did he say it it's like it feels like there's an enemy that doesn't want us to be creative because creativity is really good and it's life giving, and it's not just like creativity and art or something like that. It's just even like to create, um, whether it's to create a, you know, like a dinner or a relationship, mm -hmm. like move forward in a relationship and like forge a deeper friendship. Like all of that kind of stuff is creativity. It takes energy. It takes it takes effort, uh, effort and and it's a creative act and it's building. And he basically was saying like, either you're going to do that or you're going to be tearing stuff down. Like it's, there's, there's one, you're, you're either building or you're destroying. Like there's mm -hmm. really, like if you think about it, there's no in between. And uh, mm -hmm. it just hit me like, oh my goodness, like this is so important, you know, like not just art, but just, just everything like, and so, what we do matters and it matters that, you know, um, you know, just going back to the Bob Ross thing, it's like, let's be peddlers of this good creativity, yeah. this good, you know, life giving kind of. Creative. You just inspired me to like cook a meal, Jed. <laughs> hey, you're hot out felt... of your stomach, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I bought all the ingredients to make stir fry, but it's gonna take a lot, a lot of effort, and I've been pushing oh, it off. Oh, <laughs> gotcha! You've been, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh man, yeah. Uh, well, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Because, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, you know, we we've been trying to reach out to some of our neighbors recently, and one of the things that Renee and Willow did was they baked some scones, and they. They went around and they took them to different neighbors and mm -hmm. it started with there was a, a a woman who is a stained glass artist and um we found out that her husband had died and uh so renee brought over some scones and some treats to her and different stuff and then 
just to some other people like you know here and there our neighbors closer by and and uh you know it's it's kind of it's kind of awesome because like you see how it's it's not complicated always but you know what it does it takes intentional effort like mm-hmm. who of us feels like we have lots of extra time to do something extra for somebody else right it's usually a sacrifice right like yeah it's usually not oh i've just got all this extra time and i'm just gonna like you know i'll just uh today mm-hmm. i don't have anything to do so I'll bake scones for all my neighbors you know it's more like how do i intentionally make this effort because i know that it would it matters it matters mm-hmm. to you know these people that we've all gone through something hard this year like you know whatever your motivation but let's be people that are intentional yeah do things outside of ourselves Sounds like a good plan. Sounds like a good plan to me. Um, Naomi Cooper, first time I've been able to access chat. Heck yeah, progress. That's awesome. Hey, hey, hey. First cool. time. That's awesome. Um, Darina said something awesome that I'm going to pull up. She said, resistance. It's a constant battle against uh, resistance to be creative. Mm-hmm. And yeah. It's so true. I listened to this podcast that talked about how we all have inner resistance and like the best way to eliminate that in whatever you do. Um, And what he talked about was like, instead of saying to yourself, like, okay, I have this thing to do. Like I have to do this painting. Mm -hmm. He was saying like, just break it down into small steps. Like I just have to do this next and then do that and don't think about it. Oh yeah. Like he's like, yeah. just break it down to small steps and just do the small steps without thinking about them. Well, that's, that's so helpful. I mean, it's so funny to me how these little things can be so helpful because I know um, it's, it's like, I have that same thing happen all the time with just life, like a normal mm-hmm. day, a normal day for me goes from you just feeling super overwhelmed like if i if i don't sit and think what are the steps like okay stop don't feel overwhelmed just sit and go what do i need to do think Mm -hmm. think it through write it down in little steps baby baby steps like one thing at a time the the whole big picture always overwhelms me but Mm -hmm. one thing at a time oh okay i can handle that I'll do that yeah. one thing, you know, and, and that's interesting if you applied it to, um, to painting or something, I've never thought about that, but it's, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm for sure, sure. That that's, that's that like, like, honestly, it would be helpful because you know how so many of us and, and you know, it's like, we, we know we want to paint, but what if we were like, well, I, I feel intimidated. I don't feel like I can breaking it down to say, okay. What I need to do is I need to, let me just put a back it tone. I'm just going to tone the canvas, you mm-hmm. know, like that's it. I'm just going to tone the canvas, right? Like mm-hmm. start with that and then get that done. And then just think of the next thing. Well, the, the next thing would be, I draw in, you know, the, the shapes, the big shapes. All I'm going to do is put in the big shapes, you know, like to me, that makes tons of sense and it would actually be really helpful. Mm-hmm. Who was this? genius that came up with that um I oh yeah no, our brains you. really aren't that helpful <laughs> in some ways no. um peter stout will the class in the seventh be recorded if we can't make it yes if you if you purchase the class um oh yeah we'll, we'll record it to you and send it to you if you can't make it um yeah Yep, for sure. You can access it and you can, um, and you know, also the other thing is if you, if you, for some reason, like, like Peter was saying, like we are planning to do more in the future. We're not like really saying that and advertising that so much because we tend to over promise. I mean, or at least like to ourselves say, let's do this and this and this and this. And then, um, 
so we kind of have to guard our like with wisdom say okay like let's just let's see how this first one goes let's Mm -hmm. you know we'll we'll play it by ear and we'll kind of we'll plan on doing more but we we're we're not going to like write them in the calendar and all that stuff yet like let's just slowly do it but all that to say we'll probably do more and if you miss the first one and you you but you'd some for some reason you'd bought it but then like couldn't make it mm-hmm. you could also potentially um apply that towards the next one so um i was at one point thinking about scheduling multiple classes and then selling you know like a pack or something like that but you know again we're trying to be wise and Mm. not not do things yeah we like always that. start with a, a good small idea and then blow it into this <laughs> huge project yeah like it's never yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so guys here's the deal you guys you guys need to know this because the when you guys look at the gallery for for the the student show just just know this the the website that we use is really awesome for so many things it, it is a premier website for um for building a course like there's i don't know if there's a better one at all out there unless you had a custom one built that was you know you're spending tons and tons of money on a custom thing but there is no other platform out there that's better than ours for online courses but it's not built as a gallery okay it's not made to put paintings up and pictures up it's made to have videos and you know all the stuff that we do in our in our membership so to make it work peter basically had to figure out a way because we also had used um jay ryan a good friend and member of acrylic university had given us a really good recommendation of using a site and i'm not going to say the name just because uh it's a good site to get submissions for a show um and those of you who submitted you know what it's called and everything like that and it's a great site for what it is we were hoping and we kind of missed either i don't know if we thought it was gonna do the the other part or if like i i don't know anyways it costs way more money to host the the show on there than than uh we were what expecting we thought. yeah what we thought i mean like way I more that that was the thing actually peter is it wasn't that we didn't know we knew that it um that it didn't host it on the plan but I, there's no way i would have thought it would just be that much money like oh, it was yeah, so same. much more money than you know we were ever imagining that we're just like oh okay we're not doing that <laughs> you know like and so peter had to build the he basically built the gallery on our site kind of from scratch kind of like <laughs> i i don't know he had to code like this thing into photoshop so that it would um, <laughs> like <laughs> i don't even know like it's just kind of complicated and i'm saying all that because when you look at it just know that even though it doesn't look like it's it was that much work probably just know that each image was was a a a a work an act of love from peter to uh (laughs) it was first an act of love from the artist from you guys that you guys you know put your heart into the picture And then Peter put his heart into getting it onto <laughs> the site. And then, you know, we, we went through, we, we tried to, you know, format it, make it look nice and, and everything like that. And it does. It looks it looks great. Um, Thanks, but man. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> and hopefully next time, you know, like, like you were saying, Peter, I mean, um, I, I, I do feel pretty encouraged. Like, I, yeah. I think we can, we can figure out now that you've, <laughs> done all the work <laughs> to figure out exactly how that yeah. happened so my pleasure thank you. guys thank yeah thank you peter yeah of course Super good man of course
Yeah, and it's fun to, I, I'm super excited that Rick is, you know, doing the jurying for us, and I know he's, mm-hmm. he's, he's a great, you know, he's such a thoughtful guy, and such a long-time artist who has such a history, you know, he's taught for years and years and years, he's, I mean, he's juried so many different things over the years, and He's just got a history that uh, I think we're gonna all benefit from because I I think that he's planning on um, you know giving some feedback to the to the people that he gives awards to and just kind of talks. We'll we'll kind of say a little something about why he chose the ones that he chose, which I think will be super helpful for all of us to to kind of be able to think about. So. That also was really cool. Now, Peter, I'm getting up to the place where I think that we should start thinking about giving this away. Okay. Sounds good. Should I text somebody or wait? Oh yeah, let's let's. Uh, you guys, check the number on the bottom. And I I want to say this though. Um. Let me do this real quick before we, before we, um, before we go, I want to, I want to say this one time because some of you, I don't know if if you, um, are, have my number saved from before, but you need to know that this is not the same number. This Mm -hmm. is a different number. So I've, I've still been getting texts back on the old number, and I just want to highlight that. Make sure you text this one. Double check if you have my contact saved because it's, and let me just say it out loud, 425-310-4182. That's the correct number, okay? So I say that because this is your last chance to, um, to turn that in to Peter, and then um, we'll choose the winner for this painting, which is cool because we haven't given a painting away for a little while. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Has been a long time. Yeah, my show opens tomorrow. Love for you guys to swing swing by. Um, If you are close, you could come by in person, but otherwise feel free to jump on to Sunny Shore Studio dot com sunny shore like um you know the the two words sunny shore and um and check it out it's actually cool we're doing it an auction this year we're we're um gonna be um donating a portion of the money to a a good cause that works with um helping kids and a lot, a lot of kids get, um, get into, they get trafficked, you know, and, um, it's, it's an organization called, um, Hope, Shared Hope, I'm sorry, Shared Hope, and I, I, I thought of it because there's another organization close, close by us that, uh, has a, has hope in the name, and, um, Anyways, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun thing with the auction. I think going on some of the paintings they they all start at at twenty five percent off, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah. Oh, you're talking about your show? How's your yeah, yeah, my show. Nice. Yeah, John Elner and Mom are gonna come down and see your show tomorrow. Oh, nice. Very cool. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can do a little, make sure I got this line here kind of straight. Hey, look, it's not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> Sometimes I like to cheat like this, but you know what? If you saw your teacher do this, it's not cheating. And I saw my teacher do it. He had a thing, he, he called it a mall stick. It's M-A-H-L, and that's a German word. I'd never heard of it before that, but it's, he basically had a cane that he would use and, uh, it was his guide on 
things like that, like where the water meets the sky or mm -hmm. you know, something like that. And uh, it's quite a helpful little thing. So if you think of me as your teacher, I give you full permission. Um, Colleen Brown says, can you please ask Jed if any of the Centurion canvases have arrived with smooth or bald patches on them and does he just gesso over them? You know, uh, let me think about that. I've had a couple times smooth or bald patches. Not bald. I don't know what you mean by bald, but um, I don't think I've had that ever happen. Um, I have had times when they like they weren't I'm trying to think what has happened with with them for me um, I mean they're not perfect every time but they're generally pretty good what I've always found is that when I've when I've um, ordered something from Blick or something like that I don't know if that's or you you probably got them from Jerry's Artorama I guess on this one um, um, they're really good at returns and I don't know if you want to return it, but, um, I've, I've returned frames and, um, canvases before, uh, because you know what they're, they, I don't feel bad about it. You know, like you just kind of have to deal with it, but if that's really not fun to return them and you kind of want to get going with them, then yes, I'm sure you could just just over it. But the bald patches, if if it's actually like a, you know, um, like a part of the the um, the canvas is like down to the bare wood, if that's what you mean, I don't know if I'd mess with that. I I would probably return that. If it's just kind of thinner or something like that, or you know, or there, there is no gesso there. Yeah, go, go for it and just put some gesso where it should be. And I think it would be fine. Okay. Do we have contact there, Peter? Uh, we sure do. Awesome. Um, Candy Courtney is tonight's winner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Of this last. painting. I did my last, last thing. And let me switch over here. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here. Candy, congratulations. We're so glad that you were here with us and that you won this painting. Um, boy, I can't wait to get to this place and stand there on that beach and paint this in person but i hope that it was fun for you guys as we were able to kind of journey there together now mm -hmm. i do have a couple announcements one again i've got a show coming up tomorrow if you want to check that out go to sunnyshorestudio.com and look for the link there or you can go to jeddorseyart.com and look for the link there because i'll i'm going to change it i haven't done it yet but i'm going to put a link there but also next week make sure you come to this exact thing, but we're gonna have our student, our member showcase the award ceremony. So it's gonna be super fun. We're gonna be thinking creatively. If you have any ideas on how to make that a really a, a awesome time, let us know what your thoughts are. But that's gonna be really fun next week. This same time, Friday at six o'clock, we're gonna do it. And thirdly, um, we've got our, our uh, class coming up. So if you go to Acrylic University, Dot com. Just look at the link. It's right there on the front page and you can see the link to the live class. It's happening November 7th. That's a Saturday mm -hmm. and it's going to be at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which hopefully will work for you no matter where you are. But it's going to be a really great time. It's mm -hmm. on a discount right now until this Sunday. So you want to take advantage of that now before the price goes up. Um, and I, the last thing I want to say is we're still planning to do our tour, our road trip tour, starting in January. Oh, so yeah. I'm going to make a video for that next week. Keep thinking about that. And, um, and we're going to be 
getting the, there is a link for, that you can send in your pictures to if you go to jeddorseyart.com. Um, you can see a link there on the homepage that you can actually go to and, and submit some pictures. So just, just have that in the back of your head. Where would you want to go on a road trip? And we're going to do that starting in January. Anyways, you guys, thank you for being here. We love you all so much. We're so mm -hmm. thankful for you and have an awesome, Absolutely. awesome night. We'll talk to you later. See you.